For a long time now, students in higher learning institutions that get allowances from the government have expressed their grievance about the delay in receiving it. The 40,000 Rwanda francs that each student is eligible for every month is supposed to support them through school days. But with these delays, students say it affects their concentration and well-being in school. The issue of bursary just now is a big problem to the students who are, who are supposed to get the support of government. For example, for me, I live in Nyamirambo. To travel from Nyamirambo to, re to reach here in the morning, it's a big problem. Once I, I fail to come, or I come with my feet, means that which here become a big problem. Sometimes I come being tired and to, to sit in a class and I study, it becomes very difficult to me. And to we fulfill those requirements like registering and the, the other things. And we, we, we wait, we, we take a long period of time of waiting to find it, but they rate. They tell us sometimes is a problem of related to the registration, but for us, for the student, we fulfill those things, but we don't know the kind of problem they have. So that, in a press conference today, Development Bank of Rwanda, University of Rwanda, and Higher Education Council sought to address the long-standing financial constraints on the side of the students. The head of student funding at Rwanda Development Bank. Ms. Claudine Matata said that there's a criteria that needs to be followed for the students to be able to get this money and that the students that are having issues are the ones that have not done things right. Hakabutundi tubazo bijanye na bjo bjawa nye shuri. Mwamu nye shuri uga sanga ya hindu yizin. Mazina yiji yeho ara anjiza siya huye na mazina likuri ya ranga mwamu. There are challenges like students changing names. The names they used in school aren't the names on their national identification cards. Such students will get an account without necessarily cross-checking the right names they used. But, and because the names don't match, that's how the money will bounce back because in the system it appears as though they are different people. So the person will end up not getting their money. And for the ongoing students, they take long to register with their universities. That way, the university won't also timely process their information. Sometimes they change their bank accounts and we end up putting the money on the different accounts that they gave us before. Currently, BRD is facilitating 28,000 students and since October last year, 458 students have not received their allowances for three months. This is because they haven't signed their contracts as well as first-year students who aren't familiar with the system. BRD hopes to solve all these challenges through system integration of the universities and the Higher Education Council to avoid such confusion that comes with the registering of the allowances. <laughs> As we speak now, all IT teams working with different institutions will have a meeting tomorrow to assess how these systems will be working to find a lasting solution to students' allowances challenges. In 2016, Development Bank of Rwanda signed an agreement with the government to start managing the education loan fund as well as conduct recovery of the loans. Currently, 9 million Rwanda francs has been recovered so far. Gloria Mutesi, RTV Kigali.